boom. <laughs> You're so weird. I'm very hungry. Hey everyone, Dana Leslie back for another Disney Dining Review. Today we are headed over to the Land Pavilion in Epcot to go to Garden Grill, which I am so excited for. So we've only actually ever done this meal for breakfast, which it has not returned as of today. It has not returned for breakfast yet. I'm looking forward to this lunch menu. So we're going for dinner. <laughs> we're going for a date night. Um, this is a very was a very good, good, all you care to enjoy meal, character meal, where you can meet Mickey and Pluto and Chip and Dale in their farmer attire. Chip and Dale are so cute. It, they're very, it's very good. <laughs> um, it is a rotating restaurant and they use a lot of the produce that they make, make, that they grow in the greenhouse. Um, when, if you ride living with the land and go through those greenhouses, they use that produce to um, uh, supplement what they're doing up there. Like you said, we've only done this um, in the past, pre-COVID for breakfast. It is a very good breakfast, but alas, we can't do that. So <laughs> I'm actually kind of glad that they aren't serving breakfast right now because we would have probably opted for breakfast because it's oh, so 100%. good. <laughs> so I'm, I'm anxious to go see what they have for dinner. So what are we looking at? Yeah, so there is like a harvest salad. There is a what is it? A grilled beef with chimichurri. There's a barbecue roasted chicken. There is something that's called Southern style spoon bread. I don't know exactly what that is, but it sounds very intriguing. I do like bread. I'm kind of hoping it might be like a cornbread type thing. I don't know. Um, mashed potatoes, macaroni and cheese. So it's very comfort food-ish. There's vegetables and such. And then for dessert, it looks like there is a berry shortcake. Mm. I do like that. Yeah, no. Again, all you care to enjoy, it's never been a buffet because it is a rotating restaurant. So you're not like getting up and getting down all over yeah. the place. So they're bringing it to the table family style. Um, you can ask for more of anything that you want. We usually ask for more, um, but it's breakfast with the kids. So um, it'll be interesting to see how date night goes. I am anxious to see where we can get set um, because the best tables that we've seen from previous times are opinion. on the lower level and they're booths, but they're for bigger families. So we're gonna ask to sit there Hopefully they let us. We'll see. Um, we'll see. But there's only two of us, so we, we may get forced into the upper portion that's not as... Maybe it's fabulous. We've never sat up there. That's true. That's true. Open minds. Open minds. <laughs> uh, we'll see what happens. But there's only one way to find out. Are you ready to do this? Let's do it. Let's go. salad is super, super good. Uh, very, very fresh. I mean, it's grown basically underneath us yeah. <laughs> with the greenhouses down there. And the vinaigrette is fantastic. Really, really good. And they put like um, sliced up Kalamata olives and there's cucumber and tomatoes in there. Oh, everything was so fresh and good. So I'm excited for the rest of it. Yeah. We had like the chicken and the um, beef and mashed potatoes and macaroni and cheese and all of that. I was eyeing it and we were walking past people at the tables. And I was like, <laughs> All right, so our platter just came out. Oh my goodness, it looks amazing. It does. We have beef with chimichurri, corn, corn bread. Spoon bread. Spoon, that's what that is. Okay. Spoon, spoon bread, corn bread. He said it was sweet, like like dessert almost. Uh, green beans, chicken, mashed potatoes, and mac and cheese. Oh, man. Do you want to eat? Would you like some food? <laughs> this mac and cheese is incredible. We're on video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, the food is incredible. Um, the green beans were a little on the salty side, but still I enjoyed them. Um, the mac and cheese is super creamy and delicious. Um, the mashed potatoes were great. That chicken is mm. phenomenal. Um, the spoon bread is really good, so everything. 
it has just been very, very tasty. I think my favorites were the beef chimichurri, the chicken, and that spoon bread. Very, very, very good. Um, I was, you know, the, the mac and cheese was definitely creamy, um, definitely salty on the green beans, but I think we're gonna ask for more of the beef chimichurri and the spoon bread. Yeah. Uh, oh, and maybe another piece of chicken, because it was very, very oh, and some of that succotash. More of everything. <laughs> I do love Pluto. Um, so we ordered some more beef, chicken, and spoon bread. They bring it on a separate platter, which is fantastic. And I'm excited. Like, you know, I'm getting full, and there's also dessert. Oh, you chop up all the veggies? Can I take my photo? Yes, you can. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and just like that, we are back to the front. So one meal takes about one rotation, depending on how long you take, but it's taken us right at one rotation, which was yeah. fantastic. Yeah, and um, that dessert I was, gonna say, was incredible. That I mean, short kick, yeah. I looked at it and I thought, oh, it's gonna be dry, and I'm probably just gonna have a bite or two. No. <laughs> I ate it all. What's interesting, they do, it does get louder as you're coming back to the front, so um, it's pretty quiet around, like over on the, the, uh, the calmer side of living with the land. Living with the land side, yeah. Um, we, um, I think that's it, like, it was fantastic. Uh, we'll rate this at home, do you have anything else to add? Nope. All right, we'll pick this at home. All right, we are back, and we've got thoughts. <laughs> but first, if you're looking to plan your next magical vacation, we would love to help you out. We plan Disney destinations, your tail was in the middle of it, universal cruise lines and all inclusive resorts. So you can just reach out to us over at fantasticalvacations.com. This restaurant definitely did not disappoint. This is a very, very solid, all you care to enjoy meal. Uh, again, it is a rotating restaurant. It is served table side, so family style. So um, that's gonna kind of feed into some of our ratings here, but uh, are you ready to jump in? Yeah, let's do it. All right, so let's start off with ambiance and theming. So we've decided to split this category. They didn't really have any specialty cocktails. There was like the magical beacon cocktail, and then there was some like wine and beer. So we figure yeah. this is not your place to go and grab a drink. Go get one in Mexico, go get a margarita, <laughs> and then come to dinner. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's not a buffet, and I think I'm really liking the whole not rating on drinks for buffets because they're not known for their specialty cocktails. Right. But it is all you care to enjoy. It is a character meal. It is not something where it, you've got a bartender making craft cocktails back there. So yes, still four ratings, but ambiance and theming separated. So that being said, let's do ambiance. For us, this is like sound and the feel of the restaurant and all of that. And because it's this rotating restaurant and the we requested to sit on the lower level, definitely asked to sit on the lower level in a booth because you feel very um, separated from other people. Yeah. It makes it really nice. It's a very kind of private experience because all you can see is straight out which is the rotating restaurant part. Speaking of the rotating restaurants, that is another good thing about the ambiance because the ambiance is constantly changing. Yeah. Very slowly. So it takes about one meal to get one full rotation in that restaurant. So it's not like it's whipping you around like you're getting sick <laughs> doing your meal thing. No, it's it's very, very slow. You barely notice it, but you just kind of look up every once in a while and you've got like, a new huh, scene out there. This which is new, new it's vision. It's nice, it's nice. So yeah, yeah ambiance is very, um, it's very well done now. It's not like over the top or anything. It's been there a while, but it is pretty solid. It did get louder anytime we were kind of like coming back around to the entrance part. Um, so like right at the beginning, whenever we first sat, and then at the end, as we came back around to the, the front, um, it was louder because it opens up into the whole land pavilion area. Yeah. But whenever you're kind of wrapped around in the rest of the section, it's so like I would say 90% of it, it's, it's quite nice. Yeah, now if you're on the upper level behind the booths that we set in, the ambiance probably wouldn't be so good. Those are just regular tables and chairs and you're not like enclosed in your own space. So definitely request that lower level. That being said, we gave ambiance a four. All right, so 
theming. Uh, so the theming here, you know, you've got Mickey, you've got Pluto, you've got Chip and Dale. They're adorable. They're up dressed up in their little farmer gear. Um, and they, what I thought was really fun was that, uh, a couple of them, Pluto and Mickey both sat down next to me. So because we were in the booth and it was just the two of us, there was space. So they like just sat down next to me and like we had a little conversation. So that was really fun. Um, and the characters really make the theming here. Yeah. I, they probably have to do that a lot because those booths are, it's hard to get out of. I didn't yeah. get out at all. So I didn't get any pictures with the characters. Um, I would say that the characters are the entirety of the theming. Like you take those characters out of there and the theming really is, is nothing. Like there's nothing in there that's themed to really anything. I like guess it's, yeah. it's, it's, it is, it, you know, the whole theme is garden grill, farm to table. They're growing the vegetables downstairs and some of the spices. in the greenhouse, some of the herbs and that kind of thing. Um, and so, cause we asked and we're like, uh, was our entire salad, the, um, the vegetable, like the lettuce and stuff from the, from the, uh, living with the land ride. And he said part of it because they serve so much salad, they can't like Which make it sense. all. So they kind of mix it up with bought salad. And they did say, however, side note that since there is so much waste at some of these restaurants that are all you care to enjoy, um, there is apparently Disney has a biofuel plant or something that they uh, turn the wasted food into fuel and that's how like some of these buses drive I don't anyway I don't I, I don't that's know that's fascinating that's like, what our waiter said to you Disney if that's if it's true. true yeah right so all that to say um, it would have been probably a straight up average of three but with the characters on there we gave it a four service um, our server was incredible he talked to us about all of the food of course and explained like the process and how it all worked but but he was pointing out like hidden Mickey's on the wall and he he was telling us about the biofuel and yeah. uh, we asked about um, vegan options too so I was curious because it is so like meat heavy meat centric on the platter that's brought out and uh, we wondered you know how they would do that if there was a vegan or a vegetarian that came and he said you just have to let them know that they have like a veggie uh, loaf that comes out that's got like black beans and stuff in it and and then there's um, vegan, the rolls are already vegan, but the butter, they have a vegan butter that they mm. can bring out. He was probably one of our better waiters at that type of character dining experience. He, <laughs> I would say, was definitely above average. We even like, we were taking pictures of all the food cause that's what we do. And <laughs> whenever he brought the um, the dessert out, he was like, well, I know you're gonna take a picture. So he like set it up where the dessert tray like the platter was in the middle and then like our little plates made the ears so he made it a hidden mickey it was very cute anyway <laughs> we gave him a 4.25 which i mean he, he just like he wasn't like the next level like you know signature dining experience i think that you get into the four and a half and above but also he was definitely definitely above average Again, probably the best waiter we've ever had in All You Care to Enjoy. So I think 4.25 is is right there. Let's talk food. So I I have a love-hate relationship with this food. I, <laughs> I We argued about this one a we little. We did a little bit. So we kind of <laughs> met in the middle. So it's a weird score. Um, I wanted to give it a three and a half. You wanted to give it a four. So just spoiler, it's a 3.75. That's where <laughs> we landed. Just because I think it knocked it down for me on selection. So when I think like all you care to enjoy like Boma, Boma had the quality of the food plus the selection. They, there were like, you could find any, you could definitely find something on Boma. Because this is served family style on a table within a skillet and a salad bowl and a bread bowl, there is like not that much option. It's, it, it, you can only fit so much food in a skillet, right. right? So it has to be pretty limited in selection. Now you could get the vegetarian or vegan skillet, but other than that, like it's pretty much what you see is what you get. So while most of the food was very tasty, except for the green beans, way too salty. Most of the other food was very, <laughs> very tasty. Um, they just, it didn't have the selection. Yeah, I thought the food was wonderful. I mean, other than the green beans was, uh, they were a little salty, but the chicken, I mean, everything yeah. was cooked very well and seasoned very well outside of the green beans. <laughs> <laughs> but for like uh, an all you care to enjoy place, like the there was a lot of good flavor to it. So it was very simple, but like one of the conversations we had as we were trying to decide on the score was, my argument was is that I go there knowing that it's just home cooked food. 
Um, could I argue that I'm going to get a much better selection if I eat somewhere else in Epcot? Absolutely. But it's just like garden grilled, homegrown comfort food, in my opinion. I agree. Yeah. I mean, it so was, we gave it a 3.75 yeah. because it was really that dessert. I was not going to eat it all, <laughs> but it was so light and not that sweet. And it was just perfect. All of that to say it comes to 16 divided by four. Overall, it gets a four out of five. I think that's very accurate for this restaurant. It is definitely above average. It is one of the better table service family style, all you care to enjoy at restaurants on property. Not quite as good as Boma as far as um, selection and yeah, quality true. goes, but it's still, I mean, it's it's up there. If you want to eat with characters in Epcot, I, I recommend this for sure. Absolutely. And Chip and Dale are adorable. They are. So if you are liking these videos, we would love it if you hit that like and subscribe button so that you don't miss the next one. And we will see you on the next video.